Hey guys, today we're going to look at the drills and techniques that I focus on with my beginner goalkeepers. The beginner goalkeepers need to know a few things in foundation techniques. So we need to make sure that our beginner goalkeeper knows that they need to get in the keeper ready position and make sure what a keeper ready position is. Correctly, you want to be down on a squat with your actual palms pointed towards the other player. You want to make sure that you're on the tip of your toes. So to practice this, I make sure my keepers practice going up and down and actually practice shuffling just in the same position in the keeper ready position. You need to make sure that you have the keeper ready position down pat. I will not take a goalkeeper out to the field if he's not ready with his keeper ready position. The next thing that I like to do is make sure my keeper can run and get set in the keeper ready position as fast as possible. So I set up two cones and make sure that he can run and stop right on the actual cone and get into the keeper ready position with his ball with his body centered with the ball you always want to make sure that your body is centered with the ball and that you're down low on your toes you want to make sure that your hands are down low because it's much easier to pick up your hands than to drop them down the next step i make sure all my keepers work on is shuffling shuffling is how we're going to get to the ball just like I said, keeper ready position is the most important thing in goalkeeping. When you're shuffling, you're actually moving in keeper ready position. What this does is gives the keeper a much better chance to react to a soccer ball and get in the right position while he's moving. So to do this, I always make sure that I'm doing one big step followed by another step, but I'm never crossing my feet. If you ever cross your feet while you're shuffling, you're not going to be able to dive. Never cross your feet, just practice shuffling quickly, get your body low to the ground, get your butt low to the ground, and practice shuffling. Not only is it going to get your leg muscles much stronger, it's also going to get you ready to get to the soccer ball whenever you need to. After we get our keeper ready position and shuffling down, we want to make sure that our keepers know that we're never going to dive backwards. If you look at diving backwards, you're not going to get the right angle. You want to get the most angle to push the ball forward or around the post. If you go backwards towards the goal, the ball is going to bounce off your hand and still bounce into the goal. You want to make sure that you're always stepping forward and stepping into the save and stepping and diving forward. You want to push the ball forward, never go backwards. So after my keeper has learned this and understood this, I make him do a quick uh, step into the ball. I just want them to get used to stepping forward. Just quickly shuffle your legs and step forward as if you were going into a full of fledged dive. You just want to practice getting used to stepping into the soccer ball. You really want to make sure that you can step into that ball. Now that we have what I believe are the two most important steps in goalkeeping for beginners, we need to make sure that we know how to dive. A dive is very easy and you just need to know what your body needs to do for the dive. The first thing that we were practicing is our keeper ready position to our lunge. Once we get to our power step or lunge, you want to balance on one foot, step and actually reach your chest over the foot that's stepping forward and swing your back leg around. When you swing your back leg around and when you're stepping over your body, you're producing that energy and inertia to swing your body up and over towards the soccer ball. And a huge thing for young goalkeepers is holding the ball at the first time. It's very hard for young goalkeepers to get a good hold. So there are two ways to hold the soccer ball. There's the first way, which is the W position. You just put your hands in a W. And then the second way, which is my preference, the diamond. You just make your hand into a diamond and you always want to get your hands on top of the soccer ball. Getting your hands on top of the soccer ball will give you the control that you need. If you do end up missing the ball or, or not being able to hold it, you can throw it straight back down and catch it back on the rebound. Always make sure that you're catching the ball in the air at the highest point with your hands on top of it. Never make sure, that, never have your hands pointing towards the actual player, but have your hands pointing down. Pretend like you're playing a piano. When my keepers do catch balls, I want to make sure that their hands and arms are outstretched to the farthest point and that we're catching the ball at the highest point possible. Not only is catching the ball at the highest point the safest thing to make sure that you're getting the ball before a striker can tap it with his head, it's also the best way to hold the soccer ball. You want to make sure your hands are outstretched and that you're really getting a strong hold on that soccer ball. If your hands are any closer to your chest and you do what we call T-Rex hands, you're going to bobble the ball and it's going to actually fall down in front of you or you're just not going to be able to get a good hold. 
So to make sure my keepers are practicing catching the ball with their hands outstretched and with their hands on top of the ball, I just make sure that you throw the ball at the ground, you catch it when it's bouncing up, and you practice either the W form or the diamond form. Just make sure getting your hands on the soccer ball and doing a nice strong hold. Hey guys, thank you for watching the first part of my goalkeeper foundation training. Uh, this is all about beginner goalkeepers, so if you're training a young goalkeeper that's just starting out, this is what you want to show them. This is what you want to pay attention to. It's all about foundation and technique. Make sure you start with foundation and technique. Reflexes and the big saves come with practice after, but make sure we always start with a good foundation of soccer and of goalkeeping. Technical goalkeeping is the best goalkeeping. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. My name is Alberto. If you did like it, please click like. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you know someone that's looking for goalkeeper training, please tell them about the website. I love to get new subscribers. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again very soon.